the last last day of the week and then I get a break. Uh, about to head out, just took my meds. It's, uh, <laughs> I talked to a, a, a friend of mine uh, who went through the same process as, as you know, about a year and a half ago did chemo for testicular cancer and uh, so he went through the exact same type of chemo and he was saying Thursday and Friday are just the worst days and yesterday it totally hit me and uh, yeah, I was dead, eh Mel, yesterday? Yeah, I was just... You were KO. I was KO, I was like, I was trying to force myself because I wanted to get a main channel video of a, a cool video that you guys, well you guys would have seen it with Tim Warren's coffee. Um, uh, roll up the rim thing and um, I was trying to get it up for a Friday but I just didn't have the energy to edit I tried to edit it last night I woke up this morning started editing and I was like I need I need to sleep some more I need to sleep some more so I think that it's going to be like this on every sing at the beginning of every single cycle where um, the first week where there's Monday to Friday treatment I'm just gonna give in and just Let rest go and rest and hopefully next week everything will be a little bit better and I'll be able to act my, like myself a little bit more um, but I just have to I just have to accept the reality and uh, just go with it right here he's just like you're so boring you're so tired you're just you're not playing around with me what's up bro okay okay I get it I get it it's cool Visit, right? Yeah. See, there's two. Okay, finished. I get a couple days break, which makes me happy. Um, I don't feel terrible right now, but my mom actually brought. Uh, I don't even know if I mentioned this morning because I was. I don't even know what I'm vlogging sometimes because you get tired and everything like that. She brought a big, big, big bowl of chicken soup, uh, homemade chicken soup, and it just really hit the spot. We got snow here. <laughs> This is actually really refreshing. <laughs> Some snow on the face and everything. Oh, it's very, very refreshing right now. Um, we're gonna go home and definitely indulge in a nice big bowl of soup. Um, my mouth is just, it just feels weird. And they were telling me that's gonna happen. Um, it's part of the process. Nothing tastes the way it's supposed to be tasting, which is kind of disappointing sometimes, especially when you're trying to eat something tasty and good and then it doesn't taste what you want it to taste like. Um, but I have to just get a nutrition because I am under eating right now and I know that is affecting me pretty greatly. It is Saturday, day six. These are the tablets that I take this morning. Most of these are for anti-nausea, uh, nausea and uh, heartburn as well. So taking that, um, today is my day off from therapy. Um, let's put myself in focus first. <laughs> uh, nope, not yet, because this vlog camera sucks. Um, so today's my day off from therapy. I woke up, just ate. Now I don't feel, I don't feel good right now. I feel very nauseous. Um, I'm gonna take down these tablets and hopefully they help out. Um, but overall, I'm very excited not to be going to the hospital for therapy today, because uh, I need. I need some time off from it. I need a little break. Um, this week was it was a difficult one. Uh, we'll see how I feel throughout the day. A little update, it is two o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't done much today. Uh, Pierce hasn't done much either, he's chilling. Um, my appetite, I feel like I always wanna eat right now. Uh, one of the drugs is um, supposed to enhance your appetite and everything like that and help with nausea as well but I just feel like I constantly want to eat and it's like maybe my body feels like it's breaking down and it needs food to build up and uh, that's the feeling that I'm having in my body I also have constant shitty taste in my mouth that I want to kill by eating food and it's it's a weird feeling right now um, I hope it's just like temporary all of this but uh, I'm gonna I'm just going to cave in and uh and eat and eat and just just do it because it's gonna make me feel better that's that's the most important part um my mom is like on a crazy soup uh, making um 
like she's just making soup nonstop. She made an awesome chicken soup. Now she's making like she's gonna do vegetable soup and all this other stuff. So I get all my vitamins and I find the soups are it's very easy to drink a lot for me right now. I'm trying to drink a lot of fluids, so the soups are perfect. Um, and yeah, so that's the update. <laughs> Nothing too exciting here, unfortunately. I wish I wish things were a little more exciting than uh, than they are. I am going to try and force myself to do a quick training session today. Uh, just anything, anything will be good. Um, and I've, I haven't had almost any caffeine this week, so any sort of caffeine that I put into me is going to be like, wow, I feel great, right? So uh, I'm kind of looking forward to that. Maybe like a scoop of Goku Gains is gonna make me feel awesome. It couldn't just make me feel amazing, but I have no idea, right? So only one way to find out. All right, a little update. It is uh, exactly one week into chemotherapy. Well, into my first cycle. Uh, my first cycle is three weeks, right? Um, so the first, the first week is technically the worst week ever because you don't know what to expect. Um, everything's in you for the first time. And it's still ups and downs, ups and downs. But the biggest thing, the biggest thing that is it's not annoying, but kind of is annoying, is my appetite is through the freaking roof. Like, I just, I can't. No, really? Furious Pete's appetite? I mean, like, it's, if I was in a normal, like, if I was not going through chemotherapy, and I, like, could live my day on a normal, like, you know, like, everyday basis, like, if I could just live my life normally right now, then this appetite would actually, that would be awesome. Like, <laughs> nonstop. It would be like, Holy shit, where was this appetite during um, my whole competitive eating career and everything? Well, I mean, it was there. It was definitely there. It was, it was huge. It was huge. But, um, nevertheless. nevertheless, so I'm on a, I'm on a, a steroid, as they call them. Um, and it's called, it's, I only have a few tablets left. There it is. It is called dexamethasone. Dexamethasone, which helps with, uh, there you go. There you go, dexamethasone, which helps with nausea, but as a result, it, it really, really um, increases your appetite. It makes you just hungry, like nonstop. Like I'm, I'm constantly snacking, and I, I don't feel good if I'm not full. Um, but like, as <laughs> a joke, I, I, mean, I did a little funny. I, I was, I was on the pooper, and <laughs> what did I send you, Mel? Send me. Um, a menu of a 90 piece sushi tray and you said 100% and you wanted to get it right now as you're pooping. As I'm pooping, I'm like I'm still hungry. It's so weird. Um, it's not like, I get it, like, you know, I'm Furious Pete, I like to eat and all that stuff, but you know, I can control myself. Right now, I feel like I can't control myself. I feel like if there's a piece of food in front of me, I will eat it. I will eat it. Like I will destroy it. Yeah, I'm like a food zombie. I'm like, just want to eat everything, which is, at the end of the day, really good right now. Uh, as long as, you know, I have to make sure that the foods that I am eating are nutritious, there's vitamins, there's all that, just because my body needs it. My body's going to need it. My immune system's about to drop more and more and more. I'm prepared for this. I know it's going to happen. Uh, and as it drops, I need immune boosting foods uh, to make sure that I am staying healthy, staying strong. Um, but the biggest thing that I want to do today is work out. Uh, it's like, I worked out last week on a Tuesday, I believe the last time, and uh, I haven't worked out since. Um, and uh, it's, it bothers me inside, mentally, it's very difficult for me just to take like a week off when I can work out. It's like I have no injuries, no nothing, I just have this, 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 um, just this feeling of not having the energy to do it. And just like the feeling that is inside me right now. And I think I'm going to be able to describe it more and more, but within my skin, like within my body, it just feels like there's something getting eaten. There's something dying and getting eaten. So like, I know that there is toxicity in my body. There's toxic compounds in my body, poisons that are killing all the cells. They're killing cancer cells and they're killing normal cells. And as a result, I feel like you're at that point where you're, you're sick, but, or about to feel sick and it's throughout your entire body. 
and it's just not a good feeling to have, but that is the feeling, and as a result, it gets very difficult to pick up that weight and go work out. It just, it just becomes more difficult, but that is going to be my goal for today, um, to get some sort of workout in. I feel like the one workout that makes me happy is deadlifts, so I'm gonna get some deadlifts in, but I have to make sure that I am at that 50 to 60% range, not heavier than that, just because if I injure myself in any sort of way, that is going to be a bad thing. Uh, especially going forward as my immune system drops more and more, my platelet levels drop more and more. But I'll get into all those details, but I just, I need to, this is all about maintenance. If I can maintain at all, that would be fantastic. I know that's not gonna happen. I know my strength is gonna decrease, but if I can be at that level where it's like, I don't lose so, so much, then that is going to be good for me, both mentally and obviously physically. Um, so a little bit of a workout today is uh, in the books. What's in the books for you, Furious? Excuse me, sir. You're on vlog. You're on vlog, sir. Sir? Please. You are on vlog. You are on vlog. Something. Give us something. Please, sir. Sir. Excuse me, sir. Sir? Sir? Excuse me. Nothing? Alright.